This is a short video on basic component importing in view three. So I'm on codesandbox.l right now up here, and I'm gonna create a new sandbox. And this will let me create an entire view three, view three project online. We'll give that a second to run. There it is. Okay. So right now it actually already has a component for us, hello world.view. But I'm going to delete this here and then recreate a component just as a quick walkthrough. So start by simply just deleting that. And we'll create a component. So we'll go here, create a new file. We'll call it component one. Okay, now we have component one dot view in our components folder. We need to go to app dot view and essentially uh, import this component and use it. So step one, let's just type this out. We'll go step one, import the component. Oh, uh, you can see this is importing up here. So the hello world view that we deleted. So we can essentially just copy this. We can go import component one from uh, whatever the file is here, the file path. So we have components slash component one dot view. Okay. We don't need that. Let's get rid of this hello world. So here we got step one. So then we need to add the component here to the export default. And you can see hello world's already been done here, but we're gonna remove that and we're just gonna do component one. And we'll get rid of that. And it's saying is registered and has not been used. So we can do that next here. But first let's just write out step two. So we're adding component to the export default. And then uh, step three, we need to put the component into the, into the template. So let's delete that. Let's do component. Oh, we call it component one, not component. There we go. Let's spell things correctly here. That will help. Okay, it's not outputting anything right now. And we'll fix that in a second. Let's add step three here. Okay, so it's not outputting anything because we don't have anything inside of the component. So let's add some things and let's get it to output. So let's add our template. And inside of here, we can, let's, uh, let's add a div, simple div. Let's add an H1. We'll just say hello from component one. Give that a save. There it is, hello from component one. So we're now uh, importing, we added a component here. We imported it. 
we added it to uh, app.view and we now have something to output on the page. We can do another couple of things here real quick. Uh, I'll just copy and paste as you probably know. I'll just type it out. It'll only take a second. We're going to need a script here. And then if we want to just have a property on the page, and we'll just call it some property. And I just want to do this to kind of finish filling out this file so it looks a little bit more, slightly more realistic than, uh, than it currently is, and just being a template with hello from component one. And then down here would be the style. We'll just type out style. There we go. You don't need to put anything in style. We're okay there. Uh, and then we can just, you know, let's just uh, real quick, let's just output this to the page. We'll just output the property and then we'll call it good. Some property. There we go. Now we have an output of property as well. So quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Always appreciate the likes and the subscribes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.